bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. It's a blessing and a privilege to be with you here on this morning as we worship the Lord here in the sanctuary of the Victorious Faith Ministries Church of God in Christ. I'm your humble servant, Pastor Samuel Sago. We're located at 36540 Highway 82 West in the city of Itabina, Mississippi, and we welcome you to an extraordinary time of praise and worship in the presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. I don't know what you've gone through on last week, but I tell you, praise God, if the devil intended a man to, to hold you down, then he should not have allowed you to tune in to this broadcast on this morning. Because God has some things in store for you that are going to just bless you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Get ready to magnify the Lord. Come on, get ready to get your praise on because God is in the building. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we're looking for him to bless us in a mighty and an awesome way. Hallelujah. Come on, call your neighbors, call your friends, call the children around your digital devices and let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to make up in your mind to transform your house, your your living room, your dining room, wherever you are. Let's transform that into a place of worship where we will glorify and magnify the Lord. Get ready, get ready, amen, because the Holy Ghost, praise God, is going to move on today and bless us in an extraordinary way, praise God. Come on, with you join me in prayer on today? And then we'll be followed by scripture by Brother, amen, Sarone Crowder. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our Father in heaven, we bless you. We praise you. We honor you. We exalt you and magnify your name here on today, dear God. Thank you, Lord, for who you are, for what you've done, for your goodness and for your mercy and for your grace, for your love and kindness. Oh, God, we praise you. Lord, we entreat thee on this morning to come, Lord, and manifest your glory. Come, Lord, oh God, even as we praise you now, inhabit our praise, Lord. You come in and take control. Bind everything that's not like you, dear Lord, and loose, oh Lord, your power to move in our midst here today. Let lives be changed. Let souls be touched. Let bodies be healed. Let your word have free course, dear God, and your name be glorified in the midst of thy people here today. In Jesus' Jesus, holy name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that he hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. I have read to you Psalms 100. Well, praise the Lord on this morning. He Hallelujah. said to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Hallelujah. We're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to bless him yes. on this morning. Yes. Come on, let's Hallelujah. just clap our hands and Hallelujah. celebrate him. Let's bless lift the up the name of, the of Jesus Hallelujah. because he's worthy. Thank you, Jesus. I said he's worthy. He's yes. worthy of yes. the praise. Yes. He's Thank worthy you. of the glory. Hallelujah. And we lift his name Hallelujah. on high. We celebrate the God Thank of our you, salvation. Jesus. Hallelujah. You, We've come to lift Hallelujah. up the name of Jesus today. Hallelujah. And we want you to join in with yes. us. Yes. We want you to yes. celebrate with yes. us. We want you to Thank praise you, with us Hallelujah. because he's worthy. Yes, he's God. worthy. Yes, There's a song God. that says, yes, let God. the glory yes. of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to do this morning. Come on, clap your hands with us. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Listen here. Among us, let the glory of the Lord rise among 
Oh! 
the name Thank of Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want his healing to rise in this place Thank on this Jesus. morning. His deliverance, his mercy, his goodness, his favor. And I want you to know there is a balm, B-A-L-M, in Gilead. One who comes to heal and to deliver. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Repeat after us this morning. Don't be discouraged. Because joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Know that God is nigh. Know that God is nigh. All you have to do is stand still and look up. Stand still and look up. In the midst of your trouble, God is going to show up. God is going Hallelujah. Because he's standing by. He is standing by. Come on, reach over and grab somebody at your home. Tell them, don't be discouraged. Tell them because joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, it does. We have the assurance that he's standing nigh. God, he's standing right with us. Oh. Stand still and look up. Hold your sights up. Look to the hills from with coming your help because God, He's going to show up. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He's standing by. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. For you that are sick this morning, there is healing for your sorrows. Oh, hallelujah. And there's healing for your pain. Hallelujah. Healing for your pain. Oh, there's healing for your spirit. Healing for your spirit. And there's shelter from the rain. Shelter from the rain. Why don't you lift your hands and just say, Lord, send the healing. Lord, send Our land needs a healing. Heal cancer. He can heal COVID. There is a. Bomb. 
salvation. his name. Bless his name with me. Let's bless his name together. Come on and let's magnify the Lord, giving him glory, giving him honor and giving him praise. Come on, thank him right where you are. God has been good to us. We ought to give him praise. We ought to magnify his name. We ought to lift him up and honor him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, lift your voices. Give him the glory that is due unto him. He's our healer. He's our deliverer. He's our strength even right now. Receive strength right where you are. Hallelujah, right where you are. In your house. Hallelujah, in your car. Receive strength right now. Receive. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Receive, receive, receive. It's being released. It's being released even right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your house, in this place, the glory of the Lord, the healing power of Jesus. Oh God, to manifest even now. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. We praise you. God, we honor you. Lord, we magnify your name. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Give him glory. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Magnify the Lord with me. Magnify the Lord with me. Come on. Magnify the Lord with me today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. His glory, his glory, his glory. His glory is in the house. His presence is in the house. His presence. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my, my, my. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, tell him yes right where you are. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Surrender right where you are. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God, my God. And our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks on this morning. We give you praise and we give you glory. Lord, you are great and greatly to be praised. We honor you, O oh Lord, in the majesty of your holiness. Lord, we welcome you into this place. We invite you in, Lord. Come and have your way, Lord. We are thy people, the sheep of thy pastor, Lord. You are our God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you now, Lord, for your healing power that is flowing even now in this place. Through, Lord, the digital airwaves, God, blessing people now and delivering them by your healing power. Thank you, Lord, that you're delivering from high blood pressure. Lord, you're healing from sugar diabetes even right now. Lung conditions, heart conditions, bladder conditions, oh God. Lord, we call it out in the name of Jesus and declare, oh Lord, that it has to become subject to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ even right now. Father, move in our midst and have your way. Let your word have free course today. Let people be strengthened. Let them be encouraged. Let them be set free and delivered by your power, Lord. Lord, even as your word goes forth, let healing be received. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us and let the strength and power of God, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise, oh Lord, in Jesus' holy name. We surrender unto thee, O oh Lord, and commit ourselves unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let your word have free course today. You move, O oh God. Anoint us, dear God, in an unusual way, in a great way, Lord, in a supernatural way, so that your name is glorified. Lord, hide us behind the cross. Let us not be seen, O oh God, but let your glory be manifest. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And we thank you, Father, because even as we speak, as we decree and declare, Lord, we believe it to be done even right now that souls will be saved and won to the kingdom of God, that backsliders will be reclaimed. Hallelujah. And your glory will be revealed. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. 
What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, praise and worship team. Amen for that marvelous, praise God, presentation unto the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen. We're not entertaining, praise God. We're worshiping. We're magnifying the Lord. Hallelujah. We didn't come here to entertain you, praise God, but we're here to glorify the Lord our God. Thank you, Jesus. So glad, amen, that you're here on this morning. We appreciate you coming. Thank God, amen, for uh, some of the uh, congregation, amen, are beginning to come back into the sanctuary, amen, with worship. Hallelujah. We have been uh, beset, praise God, amen, for many months due to this Amen. The coronavirus, praise God. Amen. COVID-19, amen. Praise God. But thank the Lord that we are beginning to come back into the sanctuary. Hallelujah. As long, praise God, as you consent, amen, to exercising social distances, praise God. As long as you consent, amen, to wearing a mask. We believe that God is going to keep us. We believe, amen, that he's going to do what he's able to do, praise God. So we encourage you to come on, amen. But yet and still, amen, it's going to be according to your faith, all right? It's going to be according to your faith. So let's believe God and let's come back together, praise God, and worship him and bless his name even as we follow the CDC guidelines, praise God, practicing the measures of social distances. Hallelujah. As we have always said, praise God, amen, we welcome you to the victorious faith virtual worship service, but I want you to know, amen, that the actual presence of God, amen, is in this place. Hallelujah. His glory is here even now when we feel his presence. Amen. We don't have to be socially distanced from the Lord. Praise God. I feel him in his arms and his presence wrapped around me even now. I feel the glory of the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. He's right here and we bless his name. And if you can believe it, if you receive it, praise God, he's right where you are to heal you, to touch you, and to bless you even right now. Hallelujah. We certainly want to uh, appreciate the Victorious Faith Ministries family. Praise God. Those of you who are so diligent to help and to support, praise God, to keep the ministry flowing and going. Thank you so very, very much for your gifts. Amen. All that you do, we appreciate you to the highest. I certainly want to honor and appreciate, amen, my lovely wife, praise God, Evangelist Barbara Jackson Sago. Amen. And we thank God for her and all that she does for the ministry, praise God, to do what God has called us to do. We celebrate her and each one, each and every one of you. Praise God. Amen. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you what the Lord, amen, has given me to share with you on today. And we trust, amen, that God will be glorified and you will be edified in uh, the delivery thereof. Amen. Would that you would just pray with us, pray with us, and we declare and decree even now that every hindrance, hallelujah, praise God, is made null and void because the power of the Lord, amen, is released Amen. And glory is revealed. From the book of Acts, Acts chapter 3, one verse there, verse 5. And then we're going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 5, two verses, verses 11 and 12. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Pray for us. Praise God that the word of God will have free course. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3, verse 5, it says, And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. Hallelujah. Matthew 5, 11 and 12 says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for your sake, for my sake rather. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Hallelujah. And I want to talk to you on this morning, praise God, even in the midst of this pandemic dilemma, amen, that we are currently facing. I want to talk to you, amen, about expecting something great. Come on, say that with me right where you are. Expecting something great. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And I tell you, our God is great. 
Amen. And there is no pandemic. There is no epidemic. There is nothing, praise God, that can shut down our God, that can sustain him, that can keep him bound, praise God. There is nothing that can even bind him. Hallelujah, praise God. Not even a worldwide pandemic. Hallelujah, praise God. And so I want to encourage you today, even in this brand new year of 2021, I want to encourage you, amen, to expect something great. Hallelujah, praise God. The word expected means to look forward to. Hallelujah. Amen. I know, amen, that you've been looking back. I know that you have uh, rem reminiscent and you have evidence of many tragedies and atrocities that have taken place, praise God. Uh, but I want to encourage you to look forward today. Expect, look forward to. It means to regard as likely to happen. Oh, I believe it. I trust God that it's going to happen hallelujah it means praise God to anticipate the occurrence or the coming of it is to look for with reason and justification and I tell you praise God you ought to expect something great, praise the Lord, because God said it's going to happen. It will take place. It shall come to pass. Expect, amen. The word great, amen, is something that is uh, notably remarkable. I love this definition, amen. It's notably remarkable and exceptionally outstanding. That's great. Hallelujah. Praise God. I like that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's notably, notably remarkable and exceptionally exceptionally outstanding above all else in comparison. Hallelujah. When you look at what the coronavirus has done, how, amen, it has left, amen, mourning, how it has left, praise God, grief, how it has left, amen, unemployment, praise God, and loss of income, all of these things that the uh, coronavirus has just wreaked havoc. I come to tell you, praise God, that in uh, the wake of this new year, I want to see mm. if by the spirit of the Lord that I can encourage you to expect something great amen here on out oh we might have some troubles praise God but I want you to know amen that we serve a great God and so therefore amen we ought to be able to expect some great things. Uh, let me ask you this question, praise God. What are you expecting in this brand new year of 2021? I know, praise God, that uh, we just came out of a year, amen, that put many of us, amen, in a place of gloom and despair to some degree, amen. But I want to remind you that we serve a, a God that can do anything, hallelujah. We serve a God that is mighty, who is strong who is able, praise God. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. There is a power on the inside of us. There is an anointing that is in us. There is something down on the inside of us that has been in planted there by the word of God through his spirit and so therefore amen God is able to utilize that thing and cause greatness to come forth look I remember a man growing up a praise God amen and hearing the, uh, 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 the very renowned radio and televangelist amen Oral Roberts praise God amen coming on and going off he'd always say praise God uh, something good is going to happen to you they even made a song about it praise God something good is going to happen praise God uh, amen I have a question question for you this morning. Do you believe it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you looking for something great to happen? Are you looking for something good, something extraordinary, something phenomenal, praise God, to happen to you? Amen. I'm convinced, praise God, that expectation is the key. Well, or at least one of the keys to receive an amen and getting something from the mighty hand of God. Praise God. You've got to expect it. You ought to be looking for it. You ought to be believing for it. You ought to be, praise God, amen, excited, amen, and even, praise God, enthused to the point, amen, that this thing will come to pass. Hallelujah. Expectation is an indication or, let me say, a demonstration of your faith. 
Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of James, chapter six, uh, chapter one, verses six and seven, it says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that waveth is like the waves of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Verse seven says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Praise God. Somebody said it this way, praise God. Expectation is the mother of manifestation. Manifestation. Hallelujah. Mm. The Bible says there in Mark 11, uh, chapter 11, verse 24, it says, uh, Therefore uh, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, hallelujah, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Praise God. As we read this verse, this verse almost literally, praise God, says uh, expect to get what you ask for of God when you pray. Hallelujah. That's when you ask him, amen, in the manner that he has already dictated, all right? Praise God. You've got to follow the word. You've got to pray like God said pray. You've got to intercede, amen, and approach him like he said it, amen. He said, praise God, amen, there he said, amen, and shall not doubt in your heart. you got to believe this thing. This is a season, praise God, for trusting God. This is a season, Mother Carter, amen, for believing that God is, he can, and he will. This is a time, praise God, whether we've got to step out on faith as never before. Hallelujah. Yes, praise God, the cases and the numbers of this pandemic, they are rising, praise the Lord. But it's time for the church to believe. It's time for the church to trust. Trust. It's time for the church to look to the Lord and expect something great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And amen. We must expect it, praise the Lord. Don't doubt it, amen, but expect it. These, these three words, believing, expecting, and faith, praise God, these are all interrelated words. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith it is impossible to please him. Him who? Him God. It says, for he that cometh unto God must believe. You must believe. He who? That's you, praise God. When you come to God, you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him praise God look my friend praise God even in our trials hallelujah because we love God and are the called according to his purpose according to Romans 8 and 28 we must expect the greatness of our God to come out to manifestation even in our trials yes hallelujah even when we're going through even when we are are beset with situation, praise God. We ought to be looking for the Lord, amen, to work some things out of our troubles, praise God, out of our circumstances, hallelujah. We must expect the greatness of the Lord to manifest. Jesus says there, amen, in our uh, text scripture, praise God, there in Matthew 5, 11 and 12, it says, blessed are ye, praise God, amen, blessed are ye, when? When men shall revile you, when they talk about you, when they uh, set themselves against you, amen, when they position themselves in array, in opposition unto you, praise God. The Bible says, and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you, and then it says, fall. That's the key there, praise God. Don't let it be true. Don't let it be sound, praise God. Amen. But as they speak, let it be false because you've walked upright. Amen. You've lived this life. You've honored God in your daily deportment and in your demeanor. Hallelujah. The Bible says against you falsely for my sake. What did verse 12 say? It says rejoice and be exceeding glad. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he gives gives us a promise for great is your reward in heaven hallelujah for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you I come to tell you this morning that great is your reward when you stood for the Lord mm. when you set your mind 
When you fix your heart, hallelujah. When you settle it already in your spirit, hallelujah. No matter what I go through, no matter what I have to endure with, I'm going to believe God, hallelujah. I'm going to trust him because great is my reward in heaven. Rejoice, my friend. The Bible says rejoice. Praise God. What Jesus said simply means that once you go through what you just got to go through, then expect some blessings or some rewards to follow that thing amen you went through praise God especially when it's in righteousness and for the glory of God somebody ought to shout hallelujah here today thank you Jesus hallelujah look my friend praise God this is one thing that I know that is true hallelujah and that is praise God that look there are some things that you have just gotta go through hallelujah I'm talking to you hallelujah you amen that that, that believe praise God that everything that happened praise God ought to Ought to be nothing but good. <clears throat> you that believe in praise God that everything you go through ought to be, amen, like a, a flower bed of ease. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's a deception. Hallelujah. The Bible said that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. But God delivereth him out of them all. Amen. You're going to have to go through some stuff. Hallelujah. There are no ifs, no ands, no buts. Hallelujah. Amen. You just got to go through them. And look, praise God, that is, if you expect a man to grow and to mature in the Lord, everything that you go through, God, if he allows it, praise God, that's purpose for it. Hallelujah. Mm. That's purpose for them. Therefore, amen, you've got to get your mind set. You've got to get your spirit in order, praise God, amen, so as to just go through that thing. Hallelujah. I believe, praise God, that everything we go through, it's also going up. Hallelujah. I believe that as you go through it, it's taking you up. I don't believe that you can go through what God allows to come to your past and come out at the same level. You may have come in down here, praise God, but look, when you come out, you're going to be up higher. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be more, praise God, consecrated. There'll be a greater anointing up on your life. Why? Because God don't just let stuff happen just because. Amen. But he's preparing you. He's getting you ready for something greater. He's getting you ready for something bigger. He's getting you ready, amen, for something that is going to glorify him and edify the body of Christ. Somebody shout glory here with me today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, praise God. Something great, amen. You've just got to set yourself. You've got to adjust your attitude. You've got to correct, amen, your mental posture. Praise God. And just go through that thing and expect a great manifestation, amen, to follow as you come out. Hallelujah. Amen. Expect something great. Mm -hmm. There in the book of Acts, chapter 6, verse, uh, chapter 9, rather, verse 16, Jesus, praise God, said of Saul, amen, praise God, who was Paul, amen. He said, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my sake. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said of Paul, amen, he said that I will show him how he must suffer great things for my name, my, for my name's sake. And then Paul said in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 12, he says, uh, Amen. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You've got to understand something about suffering. There is a ministry in that thing. There is a purpose in suffering. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Amen, that Jesus, he talk, talks of him, said that he learned obedience through the things that he suffered. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So what you must understand is the, uh, the, the greater the sacrifice, praise God, the greater the blessing. And then that thing also works in reverse. Praise God. The greater the blessing, uh, the greater the sacrifice uh, or the suffering for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. Mm. I need you to understand, praise God, this severity of your struggle, praise God, uh, uh, the, uh, the struggle you endure, it will determine the strength and the power of the anointing released through your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm 
trying to tell you, amen, that there is a direct correlation between, amen, what you go through and the anointing that flows out of your life. Praise God. Amen. If you ain't been through nothing, if you haven't experienced nothing, praise God. If you ain't had nothing to come against you, I dare say, praise God, is there is a limited anointing that is flowing through your life. Hallelujah. If you all that you're doing is jumping and shouting all the time, hallelujah, you ain't going through nothing, praise God. I venture to say that you have not reached the peak of your anointing just yet. Hallelujah. I don't care what's flowing through you, praise God. It's not going to flow through in maximum potential until you've gone through something. Somebody ought to shout glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to look for something greater, amen, when you go through. Let me say that again. The severity of the struggle you endure will be, look, it will determine the strength and the power of the anointing that flows through your life. Amen. The greater the mission, mm, and purpose God has for your life, the greater the enemy will oppose you. Hear me what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I feel the glory of God in this house even right now. Look, praise God. The greater the purpose in your life, the greater the mission, the greater the assignment, the greater the enemy is going, praise God, to oppose you. The greater your trials and tests, my friend, the greater your testimony. Praise God. You can't even expect, hallelujah, praise God, to have a testimony without the test that comes before it. Hallelujah. I come to tell you, it's ludicrous. It's impractical, praise God. And look, it's just near insane for you, amen, to even embrace the idea that you can have somewhat of a testimony without going through something. You got to deal with some things. Hallelujah. But once you've dealt with them, once you have faced them head on, praise God, you can look for God, amen, to begin to manifest greatness in your life. Somebody shout glory. Mm. I'm sitting in my spirit, praise God, and the confirmation of the Holy Ghost that this year, 2021, is going to be a, a year of greatness for those who will go through, for those, amen, who will submit to the hand of God, for those, praise God, who won't mumble, grumble, and complain, but who will just say, yes, I'm going through, no matter what others do. I'm going through, God, hallelujah. I've made up my mind, praise God, and I will not turn around. I, I I'm going through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. What you must understand. Hallelujah. You've got to understand it. So, with all of that, praise God, therefore, amen, what do you do? What do you do, praise God? Well, amen, let me drop this into your spirit. You utilize the principle of a new meaning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put that in your chat bar. Praise God. The principle of a new meaning. Hmm. That's right, praise God. The principle of a new meaning, praise God. Well, what exactly is that, pastor? Well, praise God, let me let you know, amen. I'm glad you asked. Praise God. You give a new meaning to a present, praise God, to a future or a past experience. You give a new meaning to it, praise God. Give it a meaning, praise God, that has a, a more powerful significance as to the cause of a thing than the negative impact than that thing has upon you. Thus, praise God, you experience greater individual gain because of what, praise God, you went through, praise the Lord. Amen. It has a new meaning and a new reason now. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're not mumbling, grumbling, and complaining. Praise God because you feel like the whole world is against me. You feel like, praise God, amen, everybody, amen, don't know nobody like me. Praise God. That's why I'm going through what I'm going through. Praise God, amen. You assign a new meaning to that thing. Give it a meaning, praise God, that glorifies God. Give it a meaning, praise God, as you glorify God with what you're going through then it gives birth, amen, to a sense of purpose. Hallelujah, praise God. I'm not just going this thing, amen, just because, amen, but God's hand is upon my life. And I look, I'm going through what I'm going through because God is working something in me. There's purpose coming forth out of me. Praise God, amen. It's a sense of purpose, amen. It works in you amazing courage and a resolve to do what you would not have been able to do before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You can't believe 
believe, amen, that everybody is just picking on you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Grow up. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. They're just picking on me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Straighten up your face. Dry up your tears. Amen. And get ready. Amen. For the greatness of the Lord. The principle of a new meaning is based on, praise God, is based on individual choice. Praise God. You choose to assign a God-honoring meaning to something distasteful in your past, in your present, or in your future. You assign, amen, a God-centered meaning to it. Praise God. This is a mental and on-purpose assignment of glory rather than grief. Praise God. Amen. A positive assignment, a purpose instead of pain. Hallelujah. Praise God. An assignment of spiritual significance rather than emotional displeasure. And it will birth, amen, a new resolve to spiritually manage the difficult situation that will arise in your life in the year 2021. I'm talking to somebody here. Praise God. Amen. Don't you dare, amen, change that dial. Hallelujah. Don't you dare, praise God, click on or click me off. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. You there on Facebook Live, the Lord is talking to you. Praise God. Get ready, amen, for greatness to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Look, God told me to tell you that it is a satanic a strategy, amen, to impose corrupt meetings to the situations in order to trigger negative and painful emotions to corrupt the spiritual meanings to things that God has allowed, praise God, in your life for your good. What are you saying, pastor? Praise God. Amen. The devil, amen, he'll disturb your mind to the extent, praise God, that when things happen to you, amen, you will try to make it think and make it... F- you, you, look, praise God, it will evoke negative emotions to the point, praise God, that every time you think about the thing, it puts you in the dump. Every time you think about it, man, you begin to relive the pain, relive the horror, relive, praise God, all the things, amen, the negative emotions, hallelujah. But look, if God allowed that thing, then he allowed it for purpose. I don't care how young you were. I don't care how old you were, praise God. I don't care, I mean, it may not have been your fault. You may have been doing all that you were supposed to do. Hallelujah. But when God allowed it, That means that he had something, he has something else for you to do. This satanic intent is to cause a sense of pain and uh, emotional discomfort so that we will self-sabotage. Hear me, praise God. Come on, type type it in the chat bar, amen. Don't self-sabotage. Don't self-sabotage, Hallelujah. Praise God, these negative, amen, and emotional discomfort, they cause us to self-sabotage and to forsake that which God has allowed in order that it might benefit us most. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verses 19 and 20, talking about Joseph, said, And Joseph said unto them, when he was talking to his brothers, after he had revealed to them who he was, he said, Fear not, praise God, for I, for am I in the place of God? Ask him a question, praise God. Am I to take God's place? Hallelujah. He says, But as for you, ye thought evil against me. Look at here, praise God. But God meant it unto good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. To bring it to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. That's what Joseph did. What Joseph did, praise God, he assigned a new meaning, praise God, a God-centered meaning to the troubles and the burdens that were caused him by his brothers. Amen. So, in the principle of a new meaning, praise God instead of expecting pain and regret praise the Lord expect the greatness of God to manifest hallelujah praise God instead of triggering mm, 
The negative emotion, praise God, uh, expects something great. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You might, praise God, be asking, well, how can you do that, Pastor? It seems as if, amen, if you do that, praise God, uh, then, amen, you are living in a place, praise God, where that you are denying reality. Praise God, amen. You're living in a fantasy world. No, praise God. Uh, but you've got to understand, amen, uh, that the Bible tells us, amen, uh, that there were some certain things that we ought to think on. Hallelujah. That in the book of Philippians, it tells us, praise God, that there are certain things that we ought to think on. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel the glory of God even now. Hallelujah. Mm. As we look back, praise God, on the year 2020, it threw us, praise God, threw us all for a loop. Hallelujah. Amen. All that came about and all that we, praise God, had to endure. And yes, amen, I remember the pain. I remember the heartache. I remember, praise God, amen, the virus in my lungs. I remember, praise God, amen, the difficulty in breathing. I remember, praise God, the fever and the loss of appetite. I remember it, praise God. I remember, amen, the sweats and all of that stuff. I remember, praise God, amen. But I come to tell you I'm not going to let the memory of 2020 taint, praise God, the great thing that I'm expecting God to perform in 2021. Hallelujah. Yes, I remember. Yes, I can look back and see those things. But I'm not only looking back. When I look back over my life, I'm I'm not looking back in misery. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking back to see uh, where God has brought me from. Uh, thank you, Jesus. I, I am amazed. Uh, hallelujah. As months ago, I lived, praise God, uh, laying on my bed. Uh, too weak to get up most of the time. Uh, hallelujah. But I, I, I serve a living God uh, who he's in the world today. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, he picked me up. Up, uh, he healed me uh, and now I'm expecting uh, great things uh, from him uh, look at the apostle Paul um, and look at his life um, as he deliberates uh, there in 2nd Corinthians uh, chapter 11 uh, at verse 23 mm. He talked about in labors more abundant, in stripes more above measure, in prisons more frequent, in death often. For the Jews of the Jews five times received our forty stripes save one. Thrice I was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwrecked, a night and a day in the deep, in journeying often uh, in perils of water uh, in perils of robbers uh, in perils of my own countrymen um, in perils by the heathens uh, thank you Jesus uh, in perils in the city uh, in perils in the wilderness uh, in perils in the sea uh, in perils of my false brethren uh, Paul said in weariness um, and painfulness um, in watching often um, uh, in hunger and thirst, um, in fasting often, uh, in cold and nakedness. Oh my God, uh, what a dismal picture, uh, what a dark picture uh, of pain and distress um, that Paul is describing here. Um, uh, but take another look um, at what he said um, there in the next chapter. Um, uh, praise God, 2 Corinthians um, chapter 12, um, beginning with verse 2. Mm. He said, I was caught up, praise God, into the third heavens. He said that I knew a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. He said that God knoweth, thank you, Jesus, how that I was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Thank you, Jesus. When you look at what Paul went through uh, in the physical uh, and in the natural uh, and see how God elevated him uh, in the spiritual. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, God uh, is not a respecter of persons. Um, if you go through um, what 
you got to go through, uh, then when you come through, uh, you can expect greatness. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, no man uh, outside of Jesus uh, went through the things uh, that the Apostle Paul went through. Um, and no man uh, outside of Jesus uh, experienced the spiritual rapture uh, of the things that Paul uh, seen and heard. Um, what are you saying, Pastor? I'm trying to tell you. Hallelujah. Uh, that the greater your troubles, uh, the greater your blessings, uh, when you trust uh, in the Lord, uh, when you go through uh, for his glory, uh, whatever, 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 whatever you've got to go through, uh, Lord, uh, take me through uh, when you go through uh, for the sake of Christ. Uh, what are you going through right now? What kind of opposition is against you? What kind of troubles are you having? Thank you, Jesus. What are you in the midst of? And how hard is that really, that trial even right now? Thank you, Jesus. Does it seem to be unbearable? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Does it praise God? Does it seem unbearable? Does it seem praise God to weigh you down uh, I come to tell you uh, well that's great uh, because you can expect uh, something great uh, to follow that thing uh, yes you can yes you can um, in the book of Acts um, chapter 4 um, which is the chapter that follows um, the chapter of our text on today uh, Peter and John uh, were arrested mm brought before the Sanhedrin uh, for hitting a man uh, in chapter 3 uh, that was uh, at the gate that is called beautiful. Uh, they threatened them. Uh, they beat them uh, and told them to no more uh, preach in that name, uh, that name Jesus. Uh, it's amazing uh, how the preaching of the word of God uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, it stirs demons. Uh, it messes with folks uh, that don't want understand uh, it disturbs their mind uh, and their mentality uh, they get all flabbergasted uh, they get all messed up uh, because that power uh, in the name of Jesus uh, there is deliverance uh, in that name uh, they told them uh, don't you preach anymore uh, in the name of Jesus hallelujah but there in verse 23 mm, thank you Jesus the Bible says, and being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And then take a look on down at verse 29. It says, when they began to pray, when they began to pray, they prayed. It says, and now Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all bonus they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the holy name of the holy child Jesus the Bible says and when they had prayed the place was shaken while they were assembled together and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness as you look to the Lord as you go through your troubles expect great things to follow and then expect God to shake up some things in your life how many of you out there need God to shake up some things need God to shake up that son need God to shake up that daughter need God to shake up that supervisor on your job need God to shake up and stir up the gift on the inside of you shake up uh, that doubt uh, shake up uh, that disbelief uh, shake up uh, that lack of understanding shake it down uh, break it off uh, shout glory hallelujah the bible says second peter one and four 
whereby are given unto us listen y'all exceeding great and precious promises that's what God has made unto you there are promises of deliverance promises of healing promises of wealth promises of riches promises of anointing promises to bring you out and to see you through God has promised greatness of his glory so what not expect it God is not a man that he should lie thank you Jesus that's not just great praise God but exceeding greater than great exceeding the Bible says is given unto us exceeding great wonderfully great extraordinary great something better than just great something beyond just great hallelujah God promised that thing unto you you might be down and out but expect a great rise expect a great lifting and a great shifting you might feel like you're losing right now but expect a great gain and a great comeback hallelujah you might be hurting right now but expect a great healing and a great deliverance you might be having to cry right now but God said to tell you uh, expect um, your tears uh, to be greatly wiped away. Uh, He's going to dry all your tears uh, and dry them greatly. Uh, Dry them with tenderness. Uh, Dry them with love and care. He's going to dry them uh, because you've hung in there. You've expected him to come. Uh, You've believed him to come. uh, And he's coming. Woo! Thank you Jesus. I heard the Lord say, you might be broke uh, in your finances right now, but don't worry. Uh, Keep on tithing. uh, Keep on sowing. uh, Keep on giving. uh, Keep on reaching out uh, and expect uh, a great mending uh, and a great increase uh, that shall land you uh, with more than enough. Uh, Shout glory. Uh, Raise your expectations. Uh, Raise the level of greatness. Uh, Expect the great. Expect something great. Don't let nobody and nothing down some fire on your expectation of God to perform in your life. Expect something great. Expect something wonderful. Expect something marvelous. Expect to come out. Hallelujah. I know the devil's been telling you you're going to be stuck in a rut. You ain't getting out of this. You're going to die in this thing. But let me tell you something. That's not what God showed me. God showed me that before you get out of here you'll experience some greatness. You're going to experience glory. As the song says, there shall be glory after this. Yes! Glory! Strength! Might! Power! Greatness! Get ready! Get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. Expect something great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know that all of these promises are in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Understand me today. All of these things, hallelujah, are in Christ Jesus. And so I can hear you now. I said, Pastor, praise. Pastor, praise God. How can I get in? How can I get in? How can I experience? How can I too be a part of this expectation of great things? And I'm glad you asked. Hallelujah. For these things, amen, are declared. The Bible says all the promises in Christ Jesus are yea and nay. In the Lord. In the Lord. In the Lord. And you can receive him today in your life and in your spirit. 
while you're watching right there where you are, Facebook Live, in your home, at your kitchen table, in your car, praise God, at your dining room table, hallelujah. I want you to know, praise God, that it's quite easy, contrary to popular opinion. Many people try to make you think that you got to loop and jump through this hoop and that loop. Praise God. Roll, crawl, and crumble. But the Bible says, amen, that if you just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. If you do these things, amen, after the hearing of the gospel and believe Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. Oh, that's the key there. That's the key. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, it's an operation of God. If you just believe, amen, and trust, ask him, seek him, praise God. Then God takes over. It's his operation from there. Hallelujah. You know, praise God, like you walk in for someone to do something, and then they, when you make known what you want, and they just say, praise God, I'll take it from here. Hallelujah. God is saying, amen, if you just admit that Jesus Christ is his son, if you just believe that that son died for you on Calvary's cross, the Lord says, amen, I'll take it from there. And it's an operation of God to the point that you can be delivered and set free, forgiven of all of your sins, washed and made clean, and set in a place, praise God, amen, of righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you want that? Don't you want to experience that? You can have it. Just pray this prayer with me on today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. I've done dreadful wrongs. But God, I'm sorry for the wrong I've done. I believe your son Jesus is my Savior and my Redeemer. And Father, I trust him now to do for me what I can't do for myself. I receive him in my life as my personal Savior in Jesus' name. And I believe that right now I'm forgiven, I'm healed, I'm delivered and am set free in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone who prayed that prayer on today, God, I ask you now, Lord, to rain your Holy Ghost power upon their lives. Touch them, Father, to the point, O oh Lord, they would experience the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' holy name. Save them, Lord. As they pray, Lord, manifest what you promised you'll do. And I give you praise. I give you honor. And I give you glory. Friend of God, if you prayed that prayer, if God done something for you, perhaps even heal your body, hallelujah, drop us a text and let us know. Reach out to us, praise God. Amen. And let us know as a way of testimony of what God has done for you. Praise God. Give us a text at 901-450-9739. We'll reach back out to you. Perhaps you might need further instructions or further directions. Do it. Hallelujah. Drop us a text. We'll reach out to you. Hallelujah. And we trust God to do it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Expecting some great things in God. In this year, 21, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, raise it up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm expecting yes. my miracle. Hallelujah. In a day now. Thank you, Jesus. In a day now. Oh, I'm expecting. I'm expecting. What I need, what I need. 
me this on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 Lord, it's on the way. Expect something great in this brand new year. I don't care what the devil is saying, praise God. Tune his voice out and listen to what God is saying. The greatness is on his way. Look, my friends, my sisters, my brothers, those of you whom God has blessed today, I want to entreat you, amen, to sow a seed into this ministry. Yes. Praise God. It's time for you, amen, to bless God. Hallelujah. It's time for you, amen. I want to give you the opportunity to share on it today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As God has blessed you, amen, as he has moved, as he's spoken to your spirit, as he lifted burdens from you and carried you, amen, to a safe place. Hallelujah. I want to entreat you, amen, to sow a seed into this ministry. You can do it. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It should be there on the screen. Amen. The various ways that you can sow. Amen. You can give through Givelify. Praise God. Amen. Givelify. Just look for Victorious Faith Ministries. Praise God. You can also give Cash App. Our handle, amen, is dollar sign V-F-M-C-O-G-I-C. Hallelujah. Amen. You can give safely and securely right there. Praise God. Amen. And if you are not digitally, amen, adequate, then praise God. Amen. Uh, write a check. Drop it in the mail. Address it to Victorious Faith Ministries at P.O. Box 313. Hallelujah. Itabina, Mississippi, 38941. Hallelujah. And praise God. We'll receive it by return mail. Amen. And we'll give God the glory and appreciate you. Amen. Giving you the credit. Hallelujah. Praise God. For those of you who are members in the area, amen. You know our format. Praise God. From the time of 1030 a.m. until 12 noon. Praise God. You can come here. Amen. Right on the grounds safely and securely. Praise God. Drop off your seed. Drop off your offering. Praise God. Amen. <clears throat> As you come in, Wear your mask, praise God, amen. Use hand sanitizer. It's safe, it's secure, praise God, and God will get the glory. We have, amen, security here. Finance team is here, praise God. Come on and let's bless the Lord, hallelujah. And we'll give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look, praise God, this month of January, thank God, thank God. This month of January, praise God, for the past few years, God has given us to uh, do what we've called extraordinary January. And it's a revival time, whether we are positioning ourselves for the glory of God's empowerment. Amen. We are positioning ourselves to receive of the Lord. And guess what, praise God, it kicks off tonight at 6 o'clock p.m., praise God. It, it will be a virtual celebration. Praise God, amen. Tie in, amen. Simultaneously, it will be, it will premiere. It's already been pre-recorded, already been said. It will premiere on Facebook Live as well as on YouTube. If you don't have a Facebook account, praise God, dial in to YouTube, praise God, and you can experience, amen, this extraordinary January. Praise God, the virtual experience, amen, where that God is positioning and empowering us for great things in the year 2021, praise God. <coughs> On tonight, praise God, amen, Victorious Faith uh, Ministries First Lady, the evangelist Barbara Jackson Sago, amen, will be kicking this thing off. Phenomenal, praise God, woman of God, and I tell you, amen, you are going to be blessed by what God is going to do through the word, through praise, through worship on tonight at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, all right? That's 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, praise God. You can calculate, amen, where and what time it will uh, debut and what time it will premiere in your time zone. But we invite you 
praise God, amen, to, 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 to share, praise God, to tag, amen, and to let somebody else know, amen, that the extraordinary January, amen, has kicked off. And tonight's speaker will be the uh, evangelist Barbara Jackson Sago. And it's going to be a powerful time in praise and worship and glorifying the Lord. Amen. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Each Tuesday night, each Tuesday night, praise God. Amen. On Facebook Live as well as, amen, uh, uh, as, as well as through Zoom, amen, we are uh, doing, praise God, our Tuesday night teaching powerful time in the going forth of the word of God at 6 30 uh, Tuesday nights praise God join in all right be a part of what God is doing in this extraordinary January praise God we celebrate God and celebrate you and thank you so much praise God for being a part amen of what God is doing there's a song that says Lord whatever you're doing in this season don't do it without me I'm hoping and trusting, praise God, that you want to be a partner with what God is doing through this ministry. Look, praise God, don't let it happen without you. Join in and be a part of it, all right? God bless you, God strengthen you, and the Lord keep you is my prayer on today. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your sharing. Thank God, amen, for the praise team, for those who have helped us to be and to do what God has called us to do. Thank God for those of you, amen, who have come into the sanctuary. Praise God, amen. We are gradually opening, praise God, for in-person worship, all right? Praise God, amen. Just be sure, amen, that when you come in, amen, you're prepared to exercise the proper social distancing and decorum that have been suggested by the CDC, all right? Do that, praise God. And as you do that, amen, we're gradually flowing back in to coming together to praise and worship God today. Thank God for those of you who, who have come. We bless you and we celebrate you in Jesus' name. May the grace of God go with you even as the power of God goes before you. Be blessed, be delivered, and be set free in Jesus' name. We'll see you the next time right here. God bless you. All right, y'all.